Hey guys, it's Mike the Wrestling God Smith, and you guys are watching On Wrestling, the premier YouTube that focuses on AEW, NXT, and many more. So, I know we all saw AEW All Out, which in my opinion probably was the probably was the best pay per view that I saw. Cause like, bro, like even the like even the first like the first match we got which was Miro versus Eddie Kingston like Eddie Kingston gave Miro everything he gave him a lot of chops he was giving him a lot of side suplexes like Miro is a monster it, it, dude I'm I'm actually glad they changed his thing I'm glad that he's the TNT champion I, like I love the fact that he is I like I really want to see who's he going to face because like the amount of people we got last night are crazy, and I'm getting into that a little bit more into it, like a little bit more into the video. But the thing is, the crowd was into it, bro. The crowd was into it. Jr. was into it. Excalibur was into it. Tony Schiavone was into it. Everybody was into that match. Like I think it went on a lot longer. Like, bro, to do what he was doing to Demiro and taking the fight to him is like that is crazy. And then having that match was been like even it took him it literally took um because Kingston basically was the first man to reach the rope break to break out of this submission and I'm like bro like to do that and take it to Miro and do your do your special and you st and you couldn't even he only got a two count off of it and be Miro it took Miro like three times to get Eddie Kingston like he would not go now. And that was a fantastic match. And the next match we had, which was the Young Bucks versus um, Lucha Bros. And that cage match was, like, like the stuff I saw in that thing. Like, them doing, like, frog splashes, like, 450 off the rope, off the cage. Literally. And then Matt taking out, uh, like, getting a doctor's bag with a with a Nike, with a, with a, with the Air Force, with the, with the, with the thumbtacks, like, their cleats. And putting them on and stabbing, like. The thumbtacks and like and pent his head and he was bleeding and they ripped the mask off and he was bleeding and they were still going. Like they couldn't stop. They like it was like it was like bro, it was like war of attrition. Like they couldn't stop going. And it was it was just amazing that they it was amazing that they did that. And I'm just like, you know, it's crazy because like like, I, even when I saw the ending to it and his family came out and congratulated, like, bro, literally, the young bucks are trying to do a bang for your buck. They, like, Ray breaks out of it and then Penta, like, tries to do it, set him up for it. And, and, and Ray climbs up on the top of the cage, on the top of the cage, trying to do it. And then, and then Nick kicks him, like, super kicks him. And they, it's like he does a cross, but he rolls through it. And then, they do the thing off the top of the cage. He does the thing off the top of the cage and spikes and Matt and gets the one, two, three. Like that match was brutal. They were like they were gooshing blood. Like I like I think, bro, that was probably the best thing I ever like, yo. I was just happy they finally got those titles, bro. They were itching to get them. And then we got a um Andre uh Andre El Idolo promo. It was a really good promo. I just didn't like the fact that. Like, I like Chavo being the mouthpiece. I really do. Like I said, I like I, I like that they're doing something with him. I think the the the, the Britt Baker, Chris Statlander match was off the chain because like she was pulling out moves I've never seen her do. Cause cause I'm like cause I'm like, bro, like to do what Chris Atlanta did, like, she was like, yo, she tried to do her, her pendulum moves on Miss. But the fact that she, she countered everything that Britt did to her, and I'm like, bro, only thing she couldn't, I was mad that she lost because I wasn't mad, but I was, she had her though. Because, like, that meant, like, that mandible claw is just ridiculous. But to do the, to keep, to do the on Panama Sunrise. And just like just like Adam Cole and pull it off like efficiently is just freaking ridiculous. Like, like bro, that match was great, and I'm glad that they actually got. I'm glad that Chris Allen is going to be ready next time. I think that was a fantastic match. I think the Jericho MJF match was great because that because that swerve ending was great. Because bro, 
The thing about Chris Jericho, because Chris Jericho was giving MJF everything. He was giving him backdrops. He did the lion saw. He did the walls of Jericho. And MJF still wouldn't tap out. He had to literally hurt his back to tap him out. But the thing was, like, um, MJF goes for the pin. Audrey Edwards counts to as, like, one, two, three. And the winner, and, then, and, and you know, um, basically Justin Roberts says, and the winner of this match, MJF, like, pretty much everybody started booing. But he didn't win. This is not the end of the match. They forgot. He put his foot on the rope, and Audrey didn't see it. So, literally, the other ref tells Audrey, like, yo, it was one, two, he kicked out. And I'm like, bro, and told Justin Roberts to literally tell him to restart the match. And then out of nowhere, he does the walls of Jericho trying to tap MJF out, and he didn't want to tap out. So, he does the roll-up, gets the one, two, three, and he beat MJF. He finally did it. And the thing to me, I'm just like, bro, like, the thing they were doing, to me, the thing they were doing with this is just amazing. And I'm just like, bro, to do that amount of damage or to just do that amount is just, it's ridiculous. Like, bro, I, I can't, I, I, like, bro, that match was cool. I like it. But I think my other, my other favorite match was really my other favorite match was really the women's world, the world's on women's uh, battle royale because it was great because I got to see Big Swole. I got to see everybody who came back like Riho. I'm mad that Sabrina Deeb didn't come around. I wonder what happened to her. But, yo, I can't believe Ruby, Ruby, right? I, AKA, um, also known as Ruby Soho is in. Like, bro, and she won. That means she's going to, yo, between her and Jay Cargill, bro, it's gonna be freaking like yo, J Cargo still amazes me. She is just great. She amazes me, and I'm just like, bro. I just love the fact that we got everybody, and I'm glad that she was the Joker, which was cool. But like, bro, even that, like, and that match was great. I loved everything. I got to see a lot of spots I never got. Like Thunder Rose, I still like Thunder Rose. I think she's probably the greatest like women NWA Women's Champion ever created, bro. Like. Molina can't hold the candle to her because, like, she should have been able to, but she couldn't. And I think it's like, yo, like Punk said when he made the when he made the promo. When Punk said when he said A W, like, there's a lot of good stuff. Like, I, like, yo, and I love the fact that he came out. He came out in pants and not um and not in um this right and not um uh not trunks. Kind of a nice welcome change, though, which I do like. And I like the fact that everybody still loved the match. Because Darby, yo, the, like, the tension, like, that match, like, the opening of that match was crazy. Like, Darby doing the best in the world with the body bag, getting suspended with the helicopter, and him jumping out of the helicopter. That, I, I still like, yo, Darby Allen is just so surreal to stay, and it's, like, it's, it's not even, it's not even possible. And I'm just like, bro... With the mindset of what they were doing, all like, and this is just all out. We're not even in full gear yet. Full gear is like literally in November, and I'm like, bro, I can't wait for that and revolution. But I mean, like, the stuff we got with this match was crazy. Like, they were just, they didn't even fight yet, they were didn't even wrestle. It was just like, bro, they sat in the corner, he sits in the he sits in the meditative pose, and, and Darby is just staring right at him. They're both staring at each other, just just ready to go. Like, the crowd was into it. The crowd was drowning it out. But I'm like, bro, this match. This match was freaking amazing. Like, this match was great. Like, bro, I got to see a lot of things. I thought Punk was going to do the end of kind of vice. But, bro, like, Darby gave him everything. He gave him a coffin drop. He gave him the... the, the The la gave him the gave him the la like really gave him the last supper. I'm like, bro. They gave this dude the last supper. I'm like, bro, how do you like to do it to CM Punk? I, I thought he was gonna make him sad, but CM Punk was like, nah, you gave me your best shot, I'm gonna give you a better one. And he gave him a go to sleep. It, it took two go to sleep to put Darby away. And I'm like, bro, he is tough. Like this dude kicked out of one, took another one, ate the pin. I'm just like, bro. And the thing I love the fact is, he basically said, "Yo, good job." 
I'm proud of you. And Sting came out and shook his hand and tried to help him. And he said even when he was still hurting. And it was like the best match we had. And the thing is, like, I love that match. That match was amazing. I actually got to see a lot of things in AEW that I thought I would never see. And now we're gonna get to the we're gonna get to the main event of the evening, the AEW World Championship match against Kristen Cage and Kenny Omega. But bro, that match was that match was dope though. Cause Christian doing the spear like off the like off the basically off the ramp and into the table was pretty cool. And Christian trying to like he did a kill switch, got a two count, did another kill switch, he got another two. It was just back and forth. Like everything that, that Kenny was trying to do to Christian, he just he kicked out of. And I just think that like bro, if he wasn't if he didn't get if he didn't beat him up before the like the pay per view, if he didn't get involved, he probably would have healed himself. He probably would have beat him because the thing is like. We didn't just, like, bro, even at the end of the match, and the end of the match was crazy, but the thing I loved was, like, we thought Daniel Brown was going to be the, I mean, Brian Danielson was going to be the first guy. No, we get Adam Cole, baby. Like, he had a new theme, new new Titans run. I'm like, bro, like, AEW, and I said this last night, AEW is a, AEW is literally a, it, 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 it's it's a wonderful it's a wonderful dynamo, and I'm just like bro I I can't even fathom. Like yo, and this is the thing I'm starting to realize like the elites of faction now you got Britt Baker and you got Adam Cole so you got her and him so if he decides to go after Kenny like you know what Kenny I'm gonna go after your title and take it for myself and like like bro like. I like I can't believe like and, and they said that he wasn't gonna go and I already had a gut feeling he was going to go because I don't even think that because the twitch thing but I'll get into that another time but and then we don't just get a we don't just get Adam Cole we get Brian Danielson he just come his music hits and it's a remix of his original his WWE theme and I'm like bro like I couldn't believe it like we got Christian Jungle Boy and 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 and. and and Jungle Express are just all together. And I'm just like, bro, like this pay-per-view, I'm glad I waited for it. Because like I, I would have never gotten this feeling if it was a WWE pay-per-view. Like, bro, the shock, like the massive pop we got for Adam Cole, like he's here. And like I said, AEW's future is looking real bright. And we got um Minoru Suzuki. Like, bro, we got the, the baddest man and like him and um, Koji Kojima, like, two dudes from New Japan, like, the guy, like, I heard someone, like, he came and, like, he did a freaking, freaking, um, God-style power, like, um, I forgot what it's called, uh, a pile driver, and I'm like, bruh, like, we got this man, like, he's the most, like, like, I can't wait till Wednesday, guys. I really can't wait. Like, I'm excited. Like, bro, I can't. Like, dude, I literally cannot wait. Like, Minoru Suzuki and Ko Koji. Koji. Ko Kojima. And I'm just like, bro, like, to get these, to get these two. And he was an impact. And I'm like, bro, like, this is this is just, just like, I can't fathom it. Oh. I cannot fathom, like. Okay. I just I just can't fathom it, bro. My brain just can't pick it up, like. I just can't do like, yo, like this is the thing, like. AEW, and I, I'm going to say this, and I was going to leave this at the end, but then in the video, before I do my review, I'm going to give this thing 11 out of 10, bro. Because AEW kicked down the forbidden door, and it just didn't do one door. It did men it did multiple doors. And this is the thing I was going to tell y'all guys, but yo, this, this, this is like, I don't even know what to call this right now. Like it's it's so serene because I'm like, bro, we got so much talent now, and there's so many storyline potential for everybody, and 
not even that I got, not even that I'm just, I'm just getting, I'm getting people from New Japan that I know about. I'm getting guys from WWE, Impact, all this other stuff. But at, like Adam Cole, Brian Danielson, it, like this is bro. We should have had this match, and I really feel like they're gonna do it, and I, I feel like it's gonna be even better. Like it's gonna get better and better. Everybody's gonna be gunning for that AEW title. Everybody's gonna be gunning for the TNT title. Like the brand AEW is is, is growing. Is growing. It's growing, bro. Like I, it's growing as a. It, like I, I can't, like bro, I, I can't believe it. I, I just, I can't believe what they were doing it's just like it's just a, it, it it's literally just it's just i i don't even know what to say guys i'm sorry i'm just i'm, I'm kind of sputtering here but like the mindset is just it's aw it, it won like there's nothing that WWE can do with aw it's just nothing there because their landscape over there it's just it's it, it is the 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 project the prodigal land, the prodigal land of opportunity and I, I I like literally like like bro like they just they are making everybody look like chumps and I can't wait for full gear I I can't wait I'm telling you He's going to go. I'm telling you, he's going. I mean, bro, he's going out there, and it's crazy. Like, bro, all out. It's like, I can't wait. I can't wait till full gear. I, I can't. Like, I'm shaking in my... Like, guys, I'm, I'm literally shaking in my hands right now because it was so good. Like, this is the best... And I'm going to say this, too. This is the best time to be a professional wrestling fan. This is the best 2021 going into 2022 this year. It's going to be the best time to be a professional wrestling fan. And I'm like, guys, and I usually don't speak that strongly about AEW that much, but they 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 they, they did it, bro. They they top they they toppled they that the WV. And it's not even an Indian promotion. It, it it's something that I thought would never happen. I thought this was just a fever dream when they first appeared. No, it's not a fever dream, bro. This is a this is this is a lifestyle. This is a dream. This is just this is them. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.